and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today we are going to be making some Play-Doh fruit. Now these are great for playtime and they're really easy to make. All you're going to need is a knife, orange Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, purple Play-Doh, red Play-Doh and green Play-Doh. So the first thing we're going to make is an orange. This is super simple. You want to take your orange Play-Doh and roll it into a ball. Now we're going to make the stalk out of brown Play-Doh. Like so. Next, let's make a leaf out of the green Play-Doh. Flatten it and mould it into a leaf shape. Attach it to the top of the stalk. Now we're going to make some grapes. Make loads of little balls out of purple Play-Doh and now stick them all together. Use some brown Play-Doh to make a stalk. And don't forget some leaves using the green Play-Doh. And there you have it, a bunch of grapes. Finally, we're going to make some cherries. These are my favourite. What you want to do is to roll two balls out of the red Play-Doh. Now we're going to make the stalk out of green. Make a long spaghetti shape and fold it in half. Now attach it to both of the cherries. Don't forget to add a leaf. And there you have it. That's how you make fruit out of Play-Doh. What other fruit can you make out of Play-Doh? Let us know in the comment box below, we'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again very soon and thanks for watching Who Pluck Is How To. Bye! And welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make Play-Doh fruit. These look so good you could eat them, but they're made out of Play-Doh. So for this, you are going to need yellow Play-Doh, light green Play-Doh, dark green Play-Doh, dark red Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, white Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, and a rolling pin. So let's get started. First, I'm going to make an apple and I'm going to make it out of light green Play-Doh. I'm smoothing down the edges and making an apple shape. Now I'm using the edge of my Play-Doh knife to create a hole. This is where I'm going to put the stalk and my leaf. I'm also creating an indent in the bottom, just so it looks realistic. Now I'm taking brown Play-Doh. I want to make a stalk. Perfect. Set that aside and now roll out some dark green Play-Doh. Cut a leaf shape. I'm using my knife to add indentations. Now I'm adding my stalk and my leaf to my apple. Perfect! And it's done! Doesn't that look great? Super cute! And it was really easy! So now I'm going to make some cherries. I'm starting with the dark red Play-Doh. I want to make a ball shape. I'm using the edge of my Play-Doh knife to create an indentation at the top, just like I did with my apple. Now repeat this process again, because I'm making two cherries. 
Set them aside and take some more dark green Play-Doh. We want to roll it thin. We're going to make the stalk out of this colour. Put them together. And then put one end into one cherry and the other into the other cherry. And there you have it. Cherries. Super cute. Now I'm going to make a banana. This is a classic. The first thing we want to do is to make the main shape of the banana out of yellow. It would look silly if it was any other colour. Make sure you shape the end of the banana as well. Smooth down any cracks and lumps. Perfect! Now I'm taking some brown. I'm going to add some detail to my banana. Just some brown spots. This makes it look like it's been sitting in the fruit bowl for a couple of days. I'm also adding a brown end to the banana as well. Perfect! A Play-Doh banana. Add it to the fruit bowl. Now finally, I'm going to make a piece of watermelon. I'm using my pink Play-Doh to do this. I want to make a triangle shape and I'm using the rolling pin to help me get it flat. Smooth down the edges. Now we want to make the rind or the skin. I'm starting with white. I'm also taking some light green and dark green along with the white Play-Doh. I'm now going to mix this together. This is so that we get an awesome marbled effect that looks really similar to a normal piece of watermelon. Add it on top, on top of the white. Just like this. Now cut away any excess. Finally, we've got to use the black Play-Doh. We need to add some pips. Perfect! And there you have it. A slice of watermelon. Great! Play-Doh fruit. Doesn't that look awesome? So good you could eat it, but remember, it's made of Play-Doh. So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you check out all of our other videos and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!